Yo, what's going on guys, it's Steer here bringing you guys another video and this video is a story time and this actually, this ties into one of the story times I was going to tell a while back because there's like two stories I guess kind of in here but I'm going to go in depth with one of them and uh, basically this story time is, uh, took place like two years ago it was Halloween night and you know, your boy his parents, you know, found out about him smoking, so I'm gonna just tell you that part and then get into the actual story time if you haven't heard it already. So basically, I got home from school one day and my parents started asking me all these questions and I later found out that my stepmom's cousin who I go to school with, me and her are friends and fucking, uh, she told, she told my stepmom that I... I smoke or some shit when she my stepmom asked her about it a whole bunch of big words I know but uh basically they found out about it but they were trying to be slick with it but like I'm, I'm not fucking retarded but they fucking I get home and they fucking hit me with a drug test and they're trying to tell me oh yeah uh you gotta do this for uh the school they said since you haven't been going to school lately you have to uh Fuck, you have to do it here. I was like, what the fuck type of bullshit lie was that? Like, I was cringing. Like, what? The, like, if you're gonna lie, like, lie good. And then she was just stupid. I was like, what the fuck? And fucking, I just kept telling her, I'm like, yo, I don't gotta piss right now. Because I wasn't gonna, like, admit to it right then and there. You don't, you don't admit to defeat. And fucking... I just, I kept telling them I couldn't piss, and they were going out later that night for a few hours, and it was Halloween, I told them I was going out, and they were telling me I couldn't leave the house until, uh, I pissed or whatever, I don't, <laughs> I don't even fucking know, so eventually I just kept telling them that I couldn't fucking piss, and they just eventually let me out. Now this is where we get into the Halloween story time, so basically, I'm on, this is before I moved into my new apartment. Uh, I was all the way down on the south end of town, and that, it, it was a long ways from where I had to go, because the way my town's laid out, it's like, everything's, it's far apart, but then it's close together, it's just weird, and fucking, I'm walking from the south end of my town all the way up to the fucking north end of town, but it's like, it's really far, it's like, fuck, six, ten mile walk, bro, it's like fucking, Deep in the fucking six. I'm fucking walking over there and to meet up with my friend Dylan, my friend Wesso, and my friend Kevin. And we're all picking up Bud because we're gonna go fucking trick or treating and then fucking uh, get some, you know get some candy, get the munchies, you know, have a good time. And we picked up I think Pineapple Express and I had sour platinum left from like two days ago. I think I had like a G left of that. Might have been a dime, I'm not too sure. So we fucking had like five G's in total after everything. And we get back from the fucking place and we're just chilling. Cause we met up at McDonald's. Yeah, we met up no, it was Bur we met up at Burger King to fucking pick up the bud. And like no one in my town really cares about that shit. Like I'll fucking start rolling up a blunt in McDonald's like that's that's how crazy it is and fucking we're in burger king and you know the dude hands us the bud we picked up five g's for like 45 i think it was and you know we stay in there you know eat because it was like 4 30 or some shit like that and we were gonna start trick-or-treating around six so we might as well just chill and fucking then we head out at around like six seven ish and we're going all the way up to like the rich ass part which is like another three miles out we're at the rich part of my fucking town and fucking that's where all the good candy you know them motherfuckers get, get you them king size kit kats you the kings you, you know you can't front on that but uh you know we're getting our king size kit kats and shit like that and eventually you know we had like half a bag full of candy for each of us and then we went we started walking like i don't know this area of town at all that well so we're walking down the fucking street and it's dark as fuck so i couldn't really see where we were going i was just following one of my friends we're going through all these twists and turns and all of the sudden we're I sorry about that my baby sister came in my room but uh like i was saying we were under some type of highway or some shit like that i'm not too sure or we were on the high i don't even fucking know to be honest but 
So we get to this like fucking bridge shit under the highway. I, I really don't know where the fuck I was. And this is before I smoked, so I don't even want to know what the fuck was good with me. But <laughs> um, we were just walking to where we were going to go smoke because we wanted to uh, be in a nice chill spot. And we were going to go to the cliffs, but then everyone would have been there that night and shit, so we weren't going to do that. So uh, we went to this one fucking bridge spot. And my friend pulls out the piece and shit like that. And, you know, we start smoking and shit. And this boat was fire. Like, this shit hit so good. Hey, we're smoking and fucking... All of a sudden, I realize I have a blunt wrap in my bag. Because I stole some blunts, some blunt wraps, like, during, on mischief night from this uh, one gas station. And fucking, I had, like, I had three game grapes in my bag and... Game grapes are my favorite, so you already know what's up with that. And we're fucking chilling, and all of a sudden, I found the rap. I was like, oh shit, let's roll up. So uh, basically, <laughs> we were rolling up, and uh, this is before any of us really knew how to roll, by the way. So this shit was like really, really fucked up. <laughs> and all of a sudden, we start after, like, after we were done smoking all this time, we started walking. I, fuck, I think we were walking back towards Burger King, but not to Burger King. We we're walking in that general direction. And fucking, my friend Kevin, like, he, he used to be a really big lightweight with smoking. And fucking this nigga, bro. <laughs> we're in the street. And fucking, all of a sudden, my, my friend gets down, puts his backpack down on the ground like a pillow. This nigga Kevin passed out in the road. All of a sudden, we're telling him, yo, get your stupid ass up. Get your stupid ass up. Fuck are you doing? And he's like, yo, bro, just leave me here. I'm going to take a nap. I was like, what the fuck? And we were all laughing. And all of a sudden, a car comes turning up. And, you know, a car's not going to expect fucking 10, 11 o'clock at night to see a fucking group of fucking teenagers trying to get a, another dude off the ground in the middle of the road. So the car just... It didn't have any headlights on. Fucking turned up the road. We had, like, I swear, we were like the flash where we had to grab that nigga and push him out the way and shit, bro. Shit got crazy. And we're fucking on our way there and we're just having a good time. And all of a sudden, we're close to McDonald's. Like, we were past, way past Burger King. We were heading back towards my house around that area. And fucking, he, he's, I, I remember, I think I might have a video. If I have the video still, I'll put it in this video. But I'm like, yo, Kevin, what you trying to do now? And he looks at me high as shit. He's like, yo, I'm trying to fuck my ex. I started laughing. It was so funny. And fucking, we're walking towards McDonald's to go chill and see if anyone's still out. And they want to come chill. And all of a sudden, we see his ex there. And this nigga gave me the funniest reaction ever, bro. Walks up to them, smacks the candy out of their hand, bro. And fucking, it. oh shit, I actually forgot to mention the biggest. His ex was the girl who told on me about me smoking. So keep in mind, they're broken up. She smacks the candy out of her hand. And they broke up like two days before this. They had a huge on-off relationship. It was funny. And fucking, all of a sudden... She starts acting like she cares and shit. She's saying, yo, Kevin, I'm going to give you a ride home. Are you okay? Are you okay? He's like, I don't want a fucking ride home. And then she pulls the shit. She says, I'm going to tell you, your mom, if you don't come with me, he just gets all pissed off. And he says, fine. No, and was so. super mad, gets in the car. She drives him home. Tell and me. fucking that was that. And then I'm with fucking my friend. Dylan and Wesso, and we're walking behind the movie deals. theater, you know, we're just walking everywhere around town, and fucking this nigga that? said, yo, I'm about to get a ride home, he got picked up, so it was just me and Dylan, I think it was at this point, and eventually it was like 12 o'clock, so I just said, fuck yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna be going home, and my, cause like, I was supposed to be home, I think at 10, I stayed out, cause like, I wasn't trying to go home. I get home, my parents were waiting up for me. I was like, fuck me. I get home. I throw my bag. Keep in mind, I still had some bud left in my bag. And I brought it home with me. I'm not gonna fucking toss this shit. The fuck? 
fucking god was I pissed though because I get home, I go for a shower, and I come out 20 minutes later, my dad has my buddy, he's like, yo, what the fuck is this? My son was like, yo, just shut the fuck up, it's just we, blah, blah, blah. Then she said she was okay with it, blah, I'm pretty sure I told this part of the story before in past story times, because this happened to be like a big bring up that I brought up before. And uh, the next day me and my stepmom smoked, and everything was good. Yeah, so, you know, everything was good, and uh, a few days after that, I got arrested for having butt on me, but, you know, you know, everything after that went according to plan, you know, I've been chilling since, uh, moral of the story, uh, this is great. Wow. smoke weed. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, we're so close to 600 subs, uh, but anyways, thanks for watching, guys, peace. That big tree in the park looks so sad.